What is Papaya trading strategy? There is a lot of websites talk about this strategy and this strategy is very old actually. First, let us show what is Papaya strategy and then I will give you my personal comment. First, what we need for this strategy? We need relative strength index indicator. I just set it here. I put very, very small period only two for example or some trades use one or something like that close price and it's important thing you need to mark the levels 10 and 90 so just you here you can put whatever level you like usually um all relative strength is by default has um, level number 50 30 and 70 but in this case we will put 90 and 10. Uh, okay, when you finish this, you will get the relative strength in this chart with 90 level and 10 level. Now we need to add moving averages. We will have a lot of moving averages. I will be very fast here. So first we will put the moving average number, period number three, method exponential apply to medium price. I will use dark blue for every single moving average because the color is not important if you like you can change colors so this is one of them now we'll add more and more five the same thing exponential media price then i will add seven exponential media price then i will add nine exponential media price then i will add eleven Exponential median price, 13, exponential median price, and on the end, 21. So we have a lot of moving average lines, and they're no, so important here to remember. The thing that we want to see is when all these moving averages are very very close to each other so because of that i put this angle to look um with a with a long time period so if you're looking good you can see for example here we have very close these levels to each other here very close to each other here for example here 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 and cetera. So you have a every a lot of a lot of moments when the moving averages are very close to each other. And then what you want to find is the moment when the price is above a 90 and in the same time moving averages are very close to each other. So and try to form a cell formation to go down. So for example, look this here. Excellent for short, but price is not above 90. We'll wait a little bit more. Here, the price is above 90 and all these moving averages are very close to each other. So this is the perfect place for sell trade. So on 22 February, month ago, we could create a short trade on 1.133 and then go right down a lot a lot down for example something like here in this zone as you can see it's it's about it's about 400 pips and just less than month it's, it's a huge distance so this is the excellent technical indicator to spot the place like this as you see for example we have this spot for example we have very close each other we have a 10 but it's not good why because moving averages is going down moving averages are going down and they and this is not a good spot to to buy and if you want to buy you need to have moving averages that going up like this for example this is good but however relative strength index is not below 10 so this is the very rare situation it's not so like you know that you have maybe one opportunity per forex pair during one month one 
maybe two opportunities and uh, and uh, this is the this is the papaya strategy and uh, actually a lot of big hedge funds use this strategy in different way and now i will show how for example this is the naked euro dollar chart and what what do the big dogs do they put for example 50 then they put 100 and they put 200 And what they do, they're waiting that these lines are very close to each other, like this, for example, or like this, or like this. And what they do, what they do in their trading strategy, of course, they don't need, they don't use only this. They monitor fundamental news and everything. And uh, what they want to find is a moment when market is too quiet, moving averages are very close to each other market is preparing for a strong jump or down so it will be either the strong bullish trend or strong bearish trend after that but always when market and moving averages are so tied to each other it's a moment for waiting to see what will happen and a lot of big dogs use this technical indicator as as additional trigger or one of the triggers or or a trigger that just just create a moment for waiting to be prepared because something will will arrive so this is the strategy that a lot of a lot of traders use but in this video we talked about papaya strategy and my recommendation is just to go and uh, save this template. Of course, you can change the colors and everything. Go to MetaTrader chart, go to templates and save this template. And later you can use this strategy on every single currency pair or on every single metal or indices, and etc. So this is the one suggestion, one strategy, and I hope that you'll like it. I wish you a great day and bye-bye.